A good air of Shabbos, Columbus. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's daily dose of digital Torah inspiration here at Sinai Studios, Judaism Today. I want to share with you, I thought on Fridays as we prepare for Shabbos, as we get in the Shabbos mindset, as we begin to feel some of the spirituality of Shabbos, maybe we would do a daily dose of Hasidus, of Hasidic thought from the great Hasidic masters to help us get in a more spiritual mood. Today I'd like to share a thought with you from the Degel Machane Ephraim, one of the great early Hasidic thinkers. There's an incredible feature of Har Sinai, of the, of the Sinaitic experience of this week's Parsha, which is, it, the Torah says, V'chol ha'am ro'im et ha'kolot, that the entire nation saw the sounds of Sinai. Think about that for a second. It's mind-boggling, literally. That the Jews saw sound. That's what the Torah says. The Jews saw the sound at Sinai. It's wild. What is the Torah trying to convey with this idea? The Degel Machin Ephraim gives a beautiful mushal, a beautiful parable. And I'll share it with you inside. He says, Shamati mushal me'adoni avi zikeni I heard from my grandfather. Shaya echad minagim b'kli zemer yafem me'od b'mesikus v'arevaz gadol. There was an ex- excellent, brilliant musician. And everyone who was listening was so inspired and so caught up in enraptured by the music, and they were just overtaken and overwhelmed by joy and by simcha and by pleasure and the sweetness and the beauty of the sounds. And anyone that kind of came closer to this, they were just pulled into it and they were just totally swept off their feet. Except for one person. There was one person who was hard of hearing. He couldn't hear. And so when he walked into the room where this musician was playing and people were just dancing and singing, and totally taken over, he couldn't hear it. And so he didn't know what the fuss was about. He couldn't understand where the joy was coming. Explains the Degel Machan Ephraim, this was the metaphor for the Jewish people at the time of Sinai. You see, as before Sinai, before we got the Torah, we were missing one of the dimensions of life. We couldn't fully experience the joy of spirituality. We were sort of missing that sense, the spiritual sense, if you will. And we just couldn't experience it properly. Part of giving us the Torah as Jews was to make our hearts more sensitive to spirituality, more in touch with transcendent wisdom, more connected to God. That was the point of Sinai, that we should become more spiritually connected people. And the, what the Torah describes this as is seeing the sounds. They saw the sounds because they were turned on to a new dimension of life. They started to live life more fully in living color. All of a sudden, they had a new experience of spirituality that they didn't have. And I thought this was such a powerful idea because as we're going into Shabbos, you know, Shabbos at its face is just another day. It's just another day of the week. It's Six days said, what's the difference? But we need to turn ourselves on to Shabbos. We need to sensitize our souls, open our hearts, connect to the, the, the peace and the spirituality and the Kedusha that devolves on the Jewish people as Shabbos, already now, already Arab Shabbos. When we start preparing, we start getting in the mindset and we begin to already say, L'chadodi, and you did Nefesh. What we learn from Sinai is that we need to turn on sometimes that added sense to experience things that we hadn't experienced before. No matter where you are in your Shabbos observance, whether you're just beginning, you haven't begun yet, or you've celebrated Shabbos all your lives, there's always another dimension that we can add, always another layer of meaning that we can add on, always something that we can tap into. Let's have a great Shabbos, tap into that spirituality, and uplift our lives and all those around us. Have a great job. I hope you enjoyed that episode of Judaism Today. If you did, please make sure to follow us on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, or check into our podcast, wherever podcasts are listened to. And we look forward to hearing from you more.